Hey guys, uh, it's Donovan. We're gonna do a little. Uh, we're gonna start doing a little series about uh, how to build a better UI. Um, I guess better is kind of subjective, depending on how you like your UIs. We're gonna go over a few basic uh, theories in building a UI, and there are several different ways you can do it. I'm just gonna show you one, uh, mainly mine, but. Uh, there's all kinds of different UI packages out there. There's different uh, ideas, different tools. So, you know, feel free to go ahead and experiment. But I'll just go over some of the ways I, you know, put my UIs together. Oh, after that little cup of coffee. All right. So you can see the notepad thing here. We got. We're just going to cover some of the basics. You know, the screen sections. The screen is actually built into several different focal sections that you want to uh, keep in mind. Um, and those different sections have different priorities of information. Uh, your overall design should include some minimalistic features as well as, you know, cleanliness. You don't want information overload. I know there's a tendency when you first start messing with add-ons to put as much information as you can on the screen. You don't need it all. You know, you got to figure out what exactly do you need to do your job, and that's what you want. Um, then, of course, you know everybody wants their UI to look cool, so aesthetics will play a part here too. So. Here we have uh, one of my lobby, 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 lobby priests. Level one. Level one. So even a level one junkie can uh, have a better UI. So basically, what you have here is you got the left section, which under the Blizzard UI frames with the if you go into a five man the entire party would be here, right? With everybody's buffs underneath and just kind of all just all kinds of crazy information, you know, cluttering everything up here. So by me saying that you pretty much know that I'm gonna change that pretty significantly. Then you have the center information here. This is where your eyes are most of the time. Well, at least they should be. This is where everything's happening. This is where uh you are failing to get out of the fire. Get out of the fire, get out of the fire, get out of the fire, get out of the fire. Hey healer, why'd I die? Um, because you didn't get out of the fire. Because you were looking in some other place on your screen instead of the central focal barrier. Then of course the right side, which is another information panel. You, off to your peripheral vision. And you get your map, and then there's some more action bars over here that go up and down if we turn those on, right? And of course, we got our action bars down below with our chat window. Everybody's familiar with those. So, we also have some neat Griffin artwork down here, which is kind of neat, I guess. Now that I look at it again, I haven't seen it in quite some time. But, uh,. Well, the first thing you want to do is actually have a few add-ons to help you do this. Um, I tend to be a little bit of a freak when it comes to uh, where things go. So, I like a little add-on called uh, E-Align. And we'll go to just that tune. There it is, E-Align. All it does is put a little alignment grid on your uh, UI. So when you place your UI elements, you can make sure they're symmetrical and uh, minimalistic. Okay. Let's do a slash command for a slash align, and uh, there you go. A little bit disturbing to look through if you're actually going to play, so obviously you don't play with this up. <laughs> but, uh... It's easy enough to get away with just doing the align again. There's the align. 
bam, and then you can start really focusing on getting things symmetrical. The other thing right away you would want to do, in my opinion, is get a different set of uh, unit frames. The unit frames are you know, your health frame and your party's unit frames. Now, I really, really like shadow unit frames. Um, I'll admit I started out on X Pearl. Um, and then I went to Pitbull 3 and Pitbull 4, I think. And uh, ultimately, whatever I could build inside of those was not as good as uh, what I found shadow unit frames to be. Now right here you see that they are actually uh, down here in a different location than the Blizzard UI one was up here. If we open up Shadow Unit Frames, the options, Okay, this is what you would normally get right away. What we saw earlier with them down here is what you would want. You know, that's the goal. This is where all the all of the unit frames are enabled right here for editing mode. Okay. Um, so this is what it looks like. We lock them out. You know, when you first install Shadow Unit Frames, this is what it be. We've got our unit frame up here for ourselves, just like um, we would with the Blizzard UI one. And then a target, and a target's target, and a target, target, target. So we need to start moving these around. And if we had party members, they would all start showing up down here. as we see. Okay, there's the target of target, the target of target, target. Alright. So we, what we need to do is start getting these moved around. Now you see here's some boss health frames. These can come in really handy. Um, like uh, an Ascendant Council when there's two different bosses. That way you have two different boss health frames. Uh, um, and uh, back in ICC, Lady Death Whisper, you had the mana bar plus the uh, or the shield bar plus her health bar, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, Shanix, there's three bosses, so you get three of those. I tend to disable all those and let uh, DBM show me those. So there, I just uncheck that, get rid of those. Um, the focus and the focus target, I definitely do not want a focus target. I generally put that on a low priority of um, information I need to know. I also don't use a focus personally very often, so I take care of that. But that's easy enough to put back on just by clicking run the enabled units here of the options. I do like my target and target of target. I do not need target of target's target. It's just ridiculous. Um, when you're learning to play or learning your UI, you need to be minimalistic here. You don't need information overload. You can only pull in so much information at a time. So now we've got some pretty nice little features here. Uh, we've got our pet, we've got ourselves, we've got our target, our target's target. And then we've got this party. Now, do I care what the lock in my party has for buffs and everything? If he's doing his job, 
he should know and he should be doing the right thing and making sure he's not getting debuffed, not getting in the fire, not doing this. He should be willing making sure that he's got all of his buffs and everything else, blah, 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 blah. If he's missing something, he'll call it up. Why do I need to watch him? Anybody? Anybody know why I need to watch him? No? No one? Yeah, me neither. Get rid of your party frames. Just get rid of them. Uncheck them. Goodbye. They're gone. And that'll clean up your information quite readily. As you can see, we're already quite uh, less cluttered just by turning off some of that information. Now the pet frame doesn't need to be as big. Doesn't need to be as big. So we're going to go actually go into the unit configuration pet. The height is okay. The width I'm just going to shorten that up. It even has some convenient numbers so you can make things you know, similar. We'll leave that at 100 just so it's nice and small. And uh, that's much better. I like that a lot. So these locations still have some problems because your focal point is right here. When you want to see your health Okay, you want your health readily available, especially if you're like a tank or something. You want, if you're a mage, you want your mana status readily available. You have to take your eyes off of this section all the way up here to this section to figure out what's going on. That's what we need to fix, and that's what we're going to do right now. So if we turn on our grid, we can start pulling these guys down. And spread him out just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. And you see where the uh, the alignment grid comes in handy, so you can make sure these are symmetrical, especially if you're uh, anal about that kind of stuff. But you still have your pet and target up here. Now, I like to bring them right down next to them. You can put them whenever you want, but that's where I like to put them. Now they're a little bit more centrally located. You don't have to move your eyes as much. You can tell who's hitting who. Um, you know, some people like to bring them up a little bit higher. You know, I like to keep them down here because I put other UI elements up here. And uh, I, I'll admit that the location on those changed several times for me. And when you build yours, you may find that they work better up here for you. You know, it's just to each his own. Um, you have to mess around with it and see what works best for you. But uh, that's uh, those are the that's like the first major thing that I would get done when working with uh, your UI. Get your unit frames changed out and positioned properly. Alright, stay tuned for uh, part two.